Welcome back guys, <coughs> Civilization 4 Bit of a dilemma here I have so... It's rare that I get lots of good land Problem is, I can't afford to take all I've got a spot there I can use A spot there that I can use That was used to be a barbarian area there But look at the stuff I've got There, there, there And there's also that spot there and then I was thinking that spot there too. And who knows what else is there this way. In fact, it all connects up that way actually. I didn't even notice. But I can't afford to take it because it's already down at 50%. I can afford to leave that though because it and it's also right next to my capital, so it's not gonna cost too much. Uh, actually I gained, never mind. Wow. I'd forgotten that. The ocean trade routes are br brilliant. So if it's on an island, I can aff definitely afford to do it. I was worked up over nothing really. Um, hmm. Don't need really need an archer. I do need a worker, however. And I'm about to put one there. That's going to be slightly more costly. Nah, <laughs> everything's there. Tell me what to do. Certainly. Just trying to get the best of the land. And also Oasis, even though it's three, even though it's desert, it's three growth and two coins. So that is very important. We've also got a horse archer there. Yes. Can showboat for a bit. <laughs> uh, unfortunately those two places, albeit fresh water, I can't use them. Luckily there's a lot of mountains. Oh, poo. At least it's only two turns. I said that last game, that's usually all it is. Parthenon. Double production speed of marble? No, it's stone. Of course it is. It speeds up production of great wall and stuff, but... Ah. <laughs> ah, okay. Right. Time to build some farms. And plan that settler to go over there, because it will actually help us by doing that. Because I just realised that. Um, yep. Archer, worker, settler. One more Elpu. Uh, actually, go with that actually. Uh, it's meant to go over there, isn't it? Oh yes, it is. Hoo -hoo. Uh, try not to go on that one. Yeah, do, do it that way and then go from there. Keeps you safer than you would have from other people. That's just too much desert there. Whatever, right. No one's going to be able to take that area. Gold! We have gold! It's marvellous. Fact, this guy can just go over there. Now, skip turn, so next turn he'll be ready to disembark. One turn before the monument is made, so I can start cutting down some jungle. It takes 13 turns as opposed to the 10 for the forest, so... That's why you can't afford to build cities in jungle too early. The library is good. Right, where can I build the Parthenon? I oh, know, not the Parthenon. Statue of Zeus. 82 turns, that's great artist, but to build these in front, you can hold the control button and that will do that, you can hold alt and then press something for it to happen infinitely, so that would mean that just gets, archers get done over and over again, I literally found that out last game I played, that is a very important, very very important thing. Uh, don't build a road from there. <laughs> build a road from the boat. That's just that's just funny, right? Leave it there. Hey, it's slightly happier than it was. I still can't afford to do that. Yeah, that's better. Coins. We need the coins, and of course, because it's fifty-fifty now, we only get one coin for the research and one coin actually for money. So evenly spread. 
Make some roads since the settler's not going to be for a bit. And when I say that, I mean it's going to be that long. Um, should I cut that tree down? Yeah, might as well. Because I'm still going to be building wonders in this city afterwards, so good idea. Will it be a hill? Although it's unlikely to matter. City defence, because it won't be on a hill. Yeah, that, that's for this city, isn't it? No, hang on. This city would be more in danger, I think, so put it in that one. So I don't know who is that way, because it might have been the Koreans, because I saw a bunch of barbarian cities that way. Actually, I'm going to get my horse archer to investigate. Because I've completely missed that area of the map. Yep, by the way. It is, you can only travel one spot on hills or in jungle, because it takes out both the movement points. You can see it right there, movement points. See, it takes out both <coughs> through jungle and forest. I said it before, but at least we got a, a proper demonstration. <laughs> Lol banter. Um, next turn, skip a turn. So then it's waiting for instructions, and so I can just do that. Banter! I played. Alright. Uh, no, sea patrol, because it'll be 20 turns. I don't want to do it every single turn. So we have almonds that way, okay. Nice to know. Let's see where people are technologically. He's about to research feudalism. I'm always last to that, so I'm not that worried. Depends on what it is and how worried I'll end up being. He has mathematics, but I have two things I can give him that are worth 2,475. In fact, one of those things will work as well. Mathematic is quite a useful one because you can build aqueducts which help health wise hanging guns which is a very useful wonder but you need to build aqueduct first and you get 90 hammers from chopping which can be useful for any new cities you build at this point in the game so Sea of Armour might benefit from this bit of land I can't believe I missed so much land in terms of so I thought I would have explored most of the land, but the work, the warrior just ended up missing that little bit. Go that way now. See what's up there. It could be where Korea was. I, again, I'm about to find out. Fortunately, it is only the one spot. Looks like it, because it looks like it's big borders, so. Yep. The more threatening borders are down there, so... Yep, let's go that way. Seattle, I think I'll leave everything where it is at now. Yep, so, the, oh no, it's Pacal. You, idiot, how did you possibly think for a second it was Suya Varman, you... I'm not happy with myself for making that mistake. No, it's not Sir uh, Wang Kong, that's just Illinois. Not a city I'll be taking either. I know it's on a coast, which wouldn't be too bad. He's got currency. I mean, he has all these things. Why don't you just trade the technology for it, you imbecile? I'm not giving you a free technology now. At least it's no unfriendly points. If, you, if he's asking for help or tributes, then it would be an unfriendly point. But it's a fair trade, so it has no effect. You can just say no, and he'll, he'll assume you're being polite. You. Alright. Fed up of you. Nine turns. It was five turns or so when it was in our, our borders, so... It's going to take a long time. But he can heal up... Peacefully, shall we say. Um... Yeah, you can cut, you can cut jungle and forest down outside your borders, but you get a lot less for it. You can also build forts outside your borders as well. 
Forts I haven't really discovered to be useful unless it's towards the end game where there's lots of flying machines about. And it's very useful to have lots of forts where you can build extra flying machines. It's actually a really good uh, policy there. Uh, what am I thinking over there? Not actually think about anything. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Yes. Right, just build all the roads you can before this settle even gets there. Yeah, I've, I've, the civics, most of our civics are the same, so that's why we've got plus six friendliness points. Unfortunately, he hasn't got anything to give me. Am I still around? I am apparently. He doesn't like me. He's a vassal of Darius already. He has fe feudalism as the tech you need to make vassal states. He's got one already. Darn it. Hmm. Not happy. At all right now. Is my uh, not particularly threatening? In the Amaya uh, territory. Mario statues, because it's Washington. And I'll put it, put it for the city on here, but I've got those spots, and besides, we do kind of need it. Yeah, take it there, yep. That's where it goes. Very well. Now you're safe in your borders now, or your monuments being made. I do kind of need the uh, research and money, but. Uh, she, I'll, I'll accept the money. Yes, good deal. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being reasonable. It behooves us to place the foundation of knowledge in mathematics. Indeed. So, as I'd said before, but hanging guns plus one health in all cities, and plus one population in all cities too. And that's an immediate effect. So even if one's stagnant, it still it still works that way. Right now we we can start building these things. I'll do the aqueduct, and then we can do the Mario statues afterwards. Literature. Because what I tend to do is research something that other people are not. Because I'm, in Noble, I can't help but be technologically behind because I don't know how to catch up, how to play the game properly. But I am. This is the way I win the game or recover the game by doing something else. <laughs> I don't have a library, Pooh. Take too long anyway. I have to wait for Mario statues before I decide to do that. Chicago! We've nearly got my worker. Now I can go back in there. There's only one archer in there too. Oh no! Poo! I was hoping to uh, annoy them. Literature, I can't just give it to you. See, you have those two things. Like, why can't you just give me one of them? That's 900. Yeah, that's not going to work actually. Literature is surprisingly cheap. That's really annoying, right? You can explore again now, I guess. Oh no, wrong way. Banter! Oh, please. Uh, so the benefit of destroying it would be I, I would have just raised it and then he would have had to make a settler or he wouldn't have got a city just right then. Yep, build a farm. I don't have calendar yet still. I can build wineries and then that will increase the happiness and that spreads to all your territory even though there's no no one will get the two hammers one growth bonus or coins bonus the civilization will still get the happiness bonus and the trade route the trade routes connect all my cities are connected up so that's why even though it's out of range of a certain city you still get those benefits at the bottom there, the happy and the healthy stuff. So that's why you should still work on those. Uh, live no, live no. Monument. 
and start with that one. Desert spots are great next to a river. Otherwise they are useless. Three growth and one coin. That's brilliant. Right. Right, next turn. Oh, yeah, because he's out of out of my borders. Unit supply for uh, units spent in enemy territory or away or outside your own territory, so it costs one gold for that. But next turn, it'll be back to what it was. So that's good news. No organized religion. I'm sorry you keep asking things I don't like. I'm sorry, buddy, but that's just the way it is. As long as you stay there. Yeah, it's fine. You can just explore. Oh, hang on. What's going on there? Oh, no. She's expand he he's expanding his territory. Yeah, just build a road from there. It's at 40%, so I can't really afford to uh, build another city inland. I mean, this one's fine because it's improved. So, two galleys. Probably have three galleys actually. And two workboats. And a monument. So, one for each of the resources. One inside the city in case one f one is beaten up by a barbarian, which I I'm surprised I haven't seen that many galleys actually. It's usually something that happens. Time for cottage there. That's the first one in Boston, so we do need a few. Is there anything I can trade at all? He has a war elephant. What? Oh, Darius is already way ahead of the game, and I don't like it. Hammurabi, I can't ask for anything annoyingly. Feudalism. I'll I'll take it. <laughs> anything to get back level on the level playing field. Medieval. I will to my lord be true and faithful Yay. and love all which he loves and shun all which he shuns. That's brilliant. Feudalism. Longbowman, slightly less bonuses than the archery unit did, but the longbowman is twice as strong. And enables vassal states, that's the big thing. That's if you enable vassal states, that is. The last game I didn't. Yep, workers build improvements faster. Uh, can I actually make another one vassal state? No, we're doing fine on our own. Yeah, we're not doing anywhere near well enough right now. Again, the only difference is that I'm not building, not built the Oracle. That is the sole difference with this game as opposed to the other two that I've done recently. Done. That's time for another mine. Open borders, no. Currency, anything, no. I don't have enough money. I would, I'd willingly give him all my money so I can get attack for get one of his tags. National holiday, that's 300. I don't think I'll make much of a difference. 100, I still need some money, so. And it still was enough for it to expand. It went from 295 to 395. So it went past 300 and it expanded. Now it's time to get some happiness bonus. Yep, aqueduct, luckily I was already, really? How are you that strong? Well. He's taking real advantage here. It does help that he's friendly with everybody too. Oh no, mind you, Darius. I mean, Surya Varman has stopped. Maybe they used him for some technology or something. I know I would help my vassals by giving technology to them. You know what? Yeah, I'm happy with that because I get a lot of money. I can upgrade archers in threatening positions like this one here. And this one right there. So the three most threatened archers are now promoted. One more turn and then I can sort that out. Now I can do it. Open borders, actually. I don't know where he is. So I could probably do it and trade. Because what usually happens is if you have open borders early, that people try travel through your territory and put a city on the other side or. 
for their own evil purposes, but I don't know where winning Van Orange is at all, so it's probably a worthwhile risk. Yep, three growth already, so it'll be six. That's why it's a good spot. Anything with pig and a couple of hills settled there. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the rest of it's like. Oh, there he is, actually. Never mind. I just found his territory. Good for me. Um, why don't we put the uh, archer to good use? And uh, horse archer. Problem is, I don't have iron yet. I mean, as soon as I do, though, I will make some swordsmen. Not to invade anybody, but build some experience against barbarians first. Because at the moment, I'm only getting enough experience for one promotion. So... That's why it's good to go after barbarian cities, even if you don't keep them. It's still a very useful thing to do. Uh, what, what's going on? That city? No, it's not there. Oh, poo. I was going to keep it, but it's not good where it is in the moment. Yep. See, we've got lots of trade routes being six coins for the free trade routes there. I'm getting more money than I am losing for that city there. It's building a mine, building a farm, same there. Two cities that have actually improved things. If you have a great lighthouse, then you can build a bunch of cities as long as they're all off the coast or on the coast. Because then you get a, a lot of happiness, I mean, money. <laughs> I need to start making sense here. Um, Let's make a cottage down there now. Need to start building, making some more. More? Yeah, that's not Oliver. <laughs> All right, Atlanta is still going slow. Cashing on our success, see? Even if you don't get the immediate benefits for a gold mine, you can still get that. I'm very happy with that. Hinduism. Could be friend. I'd be friendly with everybody if I did that. Yep, I will actually. Does anyone turn a vanarchy? Plus in the past I used to go free religion. But this time I go for a religion. Because if you have a state religion you can have theocracy. Which means two plus experience points in cities with Hinduism. Which is very useful. Because I said about the lack of experience points before. Now... Every unit starts with two experience, providing you build a barracks. And every mounted unit starts with seven experience, which is just short of three. So that is very, very useful. And don't I know it? Right. Yeah, build one up there and start building a mine, because we've got six there. Build, build mines. Walls. Good idea, actually close to borders. Now what am I going to do now? Build a mine, build a mine on that one because then we'll be ready to sort the iron out. And also when you have a state religion you only get culture bonus for the state religion. If you if you didn't have a state religion you'd, you'd get culture bonuses for every religion you have in a city. That That's a uh, a, a new thing. Also friendly with everybody because of it. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Plus two. Plus one. Plus one. Maybe spiritual leaders you get more. I presume you do. You certainly get more in happiness if um, if you have the wrong religion. That, that that's the risk you take. That's why I've gone for Hinduism, because everybody has it. So I'm literally friends with everybody, so war is less likely as a result. Unfortunately, there's no, no culture right now. When, when, where was it before? I don't know how we did that, but... We can sort as many farms as we can before the borders are able to expand. I don't know what happened in the first place. 16 turns, yeah, because we've got that civic now, that means workers are building 50% quicker. So that saves probably, what, 8 turns? 
yeah, that's good. Good deal. Everything is worth what is purchased. Some people wouldn't make that trade, but I'm taking anything at the moment. Plus one trade routes per city. So that's the main, that's the immediate benefit. Gold trading via diplomacy, which Darius has been doing for a while, can build wealth, which is very useful if you've run out of things to build. Code of laws, banking, market, plus 25% gold, plus happiness bonuses if you have those. And then grocer, plus one health for all those things. And I've got wine too, so that will help. Well, let's see if I can get some more, because when I make a trade, I generally try to trade with everybody, so. Trying to uh, take advantage, well, how'd she put, how'd she put? Hammurabi. Suya Varman, nope. 